Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. I have a really exciting video today. Today we're gonna be swatching and unboxing the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. And I'm also gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this eyeshadow look right here. So if you'd like to see how I created this look, and if you're eager to know what's in the collection, please continue watching. But before you do that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So here is is what the collection looks like. Super exciting. This packaging right off the bat is gorgeous and super unique. Now, if you are interested in purchasing the PR kit, you are able to. It retails for 250 US dollars. The collection launches on April 14th, so we still have some time, but if you head over to the Urban Decay website, you can go ahead and put in your email and get notified when the collection drops. So this is the cover right here and it comes off. So here is the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna go ahead and and pull this out. So the eyeshadow palette is almost a little book, which I really love. This is a definitely a collection that you're gonna want to have if you collect makeup. If you're a Game of Thrones fans, obviously you want to get this collection. Now the eyeshadow palette opens up just like this. It has a beautiful big mirror on this side, and then the eyeshadow palette is on this side right here, and it just slides out like so. Here is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. I'm really loving that there are sort of four different storyboards or four different color palettes. We have a variety of different shimmer metallic colors. I do want to point out that we only have three matte colors. One right here, one right here, and then one right here. But these matte shades do work in this palette and they help you create any look you want. So they did a great job picking out the matte shades. Let's go ahead and get into some swatches. So starting from the top of the palette all the way to the bottom, I went ahead and swatched all of the colors. They swatched beautifully on my arm, highly pigmented, and the color payoff is stunning. I'm loving, again, the variety of colors in this palette. All right, moving right along, if you get the PR collection, the rest of the collection will be in this drawer right here. And no, it's not gonna be empty because I just did this makeup look. I have everything on my vanity right here. First up, we have a lip and cheek stain. And this is what it looks like in this bottle. It basically resembles blood. And I'm gonna show you on my hand. So when you put it on your hand, this is what it looks like. You can spread it on your cheeks with your fingers or you can lightly tap it. If you're the type of person who likes just flush cheeks or if you just like a hint of color, you would definitely love this product. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now and it gave me just a hint of color which I'm really loving. And I can definitely see myself using this on days that I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup. I'm just looking for a hint of color. The collection does come with two brushes. We have a shadow brush right here and this is good for all over blending. Then we have a needle precision brush, which is good for more precise lining and if you're trying to do a cut crease like I did for this video. And the packaging is on point. These brushes were great to work with. The blending brush blended beautifully. The precision one was really easy to work with, so I really, really liked these brushes. Next up is the highlighter palette, and in here we have three of the Afterglow highlighter shades. So we have a frosted pink shade, a golden nude, and then a bronze shade. On this side right here, I am wearing the bronze shade and then on this side right here I am wearing the frosted pink shade. Both of them are equally gorgeous and they both came out beautifully on my skin tone. I'm really liking this frosted pink which is surprising because I wasn't sure if I would really like it on my skin tone but it's beautiful. I've never had a problem with Urban Decay highlighters. I've always really loved them. Here are what the three colors look like. Bronze basically blended into my skin, which isn't a bad thing. That would be a great color to really contour and carve out my face. So I look forward to using that bronze shade to do just that. There's four glide on pencils in the collection. I'm really loving the ombre design on the pencils. It's very unique. Here are swatches of the four glide on pencils. I'm really loving this blue colored, almost teal. It is called Night King. And then I'm loving the gold color, which is Lannister King. And then lastly in the collection, we have four Vice lipsticks. Urban Decay makes some amazing lipsticks, so I'm really excited for these. I'm wearing this color right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it because I'm probably going to butcher it, but I will go ahead and swatch it on my hand so you can see. So stunning. I'm loving this color. We have a really deep shade right here. 
This is a very beautiful, deep, rich shade. Then we have this lip color right here. This one is more sheer, but would be beautiful if you put a lip liner underneath. Super pretty. And then lastly, we have this beautiful red shade right here. That is this color right here. So it's a little lighter red than this, of course, but it's a beautiful shade. Here is what the packaging for the lipstick looks like. It is on point and they did an amazing job. The entire collection, I'm really impressed with the creativity and the uniqueness. They did a really great job of packaging everything. So I do have some quick notes for you beauties. The brushes retail for 28 US dollars. And then the highlight palette is $36. The lip and cheek stain are $26. The glide on pencils are $22 each. And then the vice lipsticks are $19 each. The eyeshadow palette is pricey at $65, but you are paying for the name, for the packaging. You do get 20 beautiful mattes, shimmers, and metallics. So if you are a collector of makeup, you love Game of Thrones, it's gonna be something you wanna add to your cart. So let's get into this eyeshadow look. Okay, so I went ahead and clipped my hair back to make it easier to do my eyeshadow look. And we are gonna go ahead and use the two eyeshadow brushes that are in the collection. There's a wide variety of colors in the eyeshadow palette, so I really wanna dig into the palette and play with the colors and see how they perform. So we're gonna do a cut crease so I can use a lot of these colors. I'm going to dip into this matte shade first right here. I'm not even gonna bother with the names. I'm probably gonna butcher them and I may Area, I think is how you pronounce this, but we're gonna start with that shade in our crease And I'm gonna use the mirror in the collection right here And I'm gonna use the two brushes in the collection because I'm doing a cut crease I might have to pull another brush, but we'll see when we get there I'm gonna start out with the needle precision brush and we're just gonna dip into Nymeria and we're really going to cut out the crease So when I was swatching these colors right away, I could tell that they were super pigmented. Now putting them on my eyes, that hasn't changed at all. They're still super pigmented and I'm barely dipping into the color and I'm getting a lot of pigment and color on my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to sort of wing this out as you can see. Now taking a fluffy brush, we're just gonna go ahead and sort of blend this out so it's not too harsh. And we're just gonna go over that line again. Just keep doing this until you like it and it's nice and sharp. Now we're gonna dip into this matte shade down here. I believe it's pronounced Lannister Red. And we're going to do the same motion. Okay beauties, so as you can see, I have gone ahead and cut my crease on both sides. It's a pretty precise and clean like I would like it. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill in the crease. So I'm going to dip into the site, which is a green shade, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start to pack that on the inner corner, so right here. And then actually on the other side, I'm gonna take King's Landing, which is that beautiful yellow color that I am obsessed with. I'm gonna pack that on the outer corner of my eye. I am going to blend the two colors in, but we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye. We have gone ahead and filled in the crease. Everything is looking beautiful, but we do wanna go ahead and blend out the two shades. Otherwise, it's gonna look like we just packed them on. So to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Bend the Knee, and ever so lightly, we're just gonna blend the two shades using that color. 
And as you can see, it sort of gives it an icy look, which I'm really loving. I'm going to go ahead and put on some black eyeliner and some lashes, and then I'll meet you back here so we can finish up the lips and the rest of the face. Okay, so I had to change positions because of the sun getting really bright today, but I went ahead and popped on some MGS Accessories Kochi lashes. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the face. So in the collection, we do have a lip and cheek stain. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on my cheeks because I don't have any blush on. And I'm gonna go ahead and drip about two drops on my cheeks and then we're gonna spread it out. We'll see how that works. I think that was like three drops. Um, I'm actually gonna take a brush and blend it out. So that gives a, a nice rosy hint of color. So as we can see, it is a pretty a natural, it's a light flush of color. So if you're looking for a really natural color for your cheeks, then that cheek stain would be good. I want to go ahead and see how it would look on the lips and I want to see if we can sort of build it up. Yeah, it's very sheer, so again, if you're looking for something very light and very sheer, then that would be a good option. I'm going to apply one of the lipsticks on my lips, so I'm going to take this off. I'm not a heavy user of lip and cheek stains, but when I do use them, I do like that they give you a nice flushed color, which this one definitely gives you, and you can build up the coverage. Now to finish up the face, I'm going to dip into the highlighter palette. I'm going to dip into this golden shade right here. That is really pretty. All right, and then to change it up and to see how the other colors perform, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pink highlighter shade and we're gonna go ahead and apply that onto the face and see how that works on my skin tone. So that is also a really pretty shade. I'm really liking how it's sitting on my brown skin tone, as you guys can see. So to complete this look, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Ooh, that is super pretty. How beautiful is that shade? I'm gonna take Dragon Smoke and I'm gonna start to work that in my waterline. And then for an extra pop, I'm gonna take Lannister Gold and I'm gonna work that in the inner corner, so right here. Okay beauties, here is my completed look using the Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. I am super in love with this eyeshadow look and especially this lip color. It is super gorgeous. I think it's going to be my go-to this season. I am loving everything. So just a quick recap on the collection. It does launch on April 14th. You can head over to the Urban Decay website to get notified when the collection drops. If you would like the entire PR kit that you saw in this collection or the vault as they are calling it, it is is $250 US dollar and all of the other prices for the products will be listed down below in the description box. This collection will be available of course at UrbanDecay.com, also at Sephora and even Macy's so be sure to check out Macy's for this collection. I hope you beauties enjoyed this video and all of the swatches. Let me know down below in the comments if you will be purchasing anything from this collection or even if you are interested in the vault. I would love to hear your thoughts and I'll catch you soon in the next video. Everyone's lining up to see you